Hi. I've come to spill all the tea on oral piercings, okay? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm only gonna speak for myself, but <laughs> I got some ish to tell you. All right, so this is what it is. If you know, I'm trying to think. I probably posted something on here with my Ashley piercing, which was this right here, the one that goes straight through the bottom lip. <clears throat> It was my absolute favorite piercing in the world. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I got that piercing, my self-esteem boosted up so high. I was like, wow, I feel like the most amazing person in the world. That might sound stupid, but that's just how I felt. I, I love piercings. You probably know that if you've been on my channel for a while, especially on my ASMR channel, because I do tattoos, piercings, videos like that all the time. So I love piercings loved that piercing if i could only have one piercing right was a couple people asked me before like oh if you could only have one you have to choose one of your piercings what's it gonna be i said oh my ashley piercing now mind you i have like 16 piercings just hidden in places that you can't sleep <laughs> so anyway that piercing was my favorite now let's take it back to january when i got the piercing this piercing, I had thought about it for probably two years, two, a year and a half, two years. I wanted to get it so bad. And I always talked myself out of it because I was like, well, <clears throat> what if people like that watch my content, one of my subscribers for ASMR don't like it or like it's distracting and then it's going to ruin like their experience. So for basically two years, I put it off trying to be selfless. And you know, be put out good content because I don't want to have anything that's distracting people from my videos. That's my passion. I love ASMR. <clears throat> so finally, I was like, you know what? You only live once, truly, honestly. And I just had a huge reality check, and I was like, wow, this life, we're not here for very long, and why not just do what you want? And if people like you, they're gonna like you regardless. Like, they're gonna watch my stuff regardless. So like, it was a whole thing. Like, I went back and forth constantly myself about this piercing. So anyway, one day I said, okay, I'm just gonna do it. My mom was visiting me in Arizona from Pennsylvania. And I was like, mom, come on, we're gonna go today and I'm gonna get this piercing. So she's like, okay, so we go. I get the piercing. As Soon as I get the piercing, I look at myself, I was like, wow, you are a bad ass B. <laughs> I loved it. I was super excited. And then let me tell you when shit started getting a little bit iffy. Now, I'm trying to talk, right? A couple minutes after the piercing. And of course, it's swollen, just like any other piercing. It's gonna swell afterwards. So I'm trying to talk to my mom in the car and I'm like, yeah, I know what you mean. And I'm trying to talk so carefully because every time that I would say certain words, the back part, it was a flat back, I was biting it like it was getting caught on my teeth and I like bite it I was like oh my god this is not good <laughs> so I'm like well it's probably just because it's swollen like I just have to be careful I have to get used to it probably by tomorrow two days it'll be better <laughs> so we get to we get home I'm hungry I get McDonald's right and I'm thinking how am I gonna eat this so I'm trying to bite my burger and my lip ring is just in the way. I'm trying to chew very slowly. Bite, bite, bite the bar, bite the bar, bite the bar, bite the bar. I kept biting it. And that's when I first started, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I hope that this goes away because I don't want to ruin my teeth or break my teeth. And I've read many forums about people breaking their teeth on tongue rings, lip rings, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oh, please. So it actually got to the point where when I was chewing my food, I was holding my lip out like this and I was like or chewing with my mouth open like holding my lip out like this because it was hurting so bad to keep biting it <laughs> and it was bleeding every time I bite it start bleeding I'm like oh please so that went on for a couple days now they were like you can't um you can't use lip scrubs like chapstick stuff like that they said for three months and they also said some other things that I couldn't do for three months. <laughs> but anyway, so let's get let's get into the nitty gritty here, okay? Once that piercing stopped being swollen, everything was okay for a while. 
Now I had the occasional time where I would bite it and I would actually, I would bite it so hard that as soon as I bit it, I would run to the bathroom and check my teeth because I thought, oh, for sure. Like my tooth has to be chipped. Like I bit this hard. So ended up that it was never chipped and I was like, okay, well, I guess it's fine. So go on, go on about my day for a while. And let me tell you about a couple things that you're really might have a problem with. So number one, if you are kissing anybody, <laughs> forget it. Everybody's anatomy is obviously different on their bottom lip and however the piercer pierces it, the location, that's all gonna be relevant. So this might not happen to you, but trying to kiss, it's not easy. Like the way my piercing sat, as you can see the hole right there, the scar, see that? Yeah, that's the scar. You can't see it when my lip is just regular, but when I push on it, you can see the ball. So when you kiss, it's like whoever you're kissing, they're just kissing metal. Like they can't suck your bottom lip, really any of that stuff because hello, there's literally like a piece of metal that's preventing it. So, I mean, that's something to take into consideration. If it doesn't bother your partner, it doesn't bother you, that's fine. But I didn't prefer to kiss with it in, to be completely honest. It's kind of hard. <clears throat> um, secondly, again, biting it constantly. Third, and probably what irritated, there's two more things that irritated me the absolute most. I'm gonna save the best for last. Third, it constantly got crust on it. Yeah, that's disgusting. So when I would be out in public, you know, I'm thinking to myself, hmm, one of my lip ring has crust on it and I'm sitting here talking to someone like this in their face and they're probably gonna see like a yellow or white piece of crust on my piercing. I cleaned this piercing with salt water every day. I scrubbed it with my toothbrush every morning. Like no matter what I did, it would be clean for a couple hours. But when I would push like this, like spit and different stuff would seep around this. I know this is nasty, but this is the honest truth. It would like seep around the hole if I like pushed pushed on it and then that stuff would just harden and stay like crusty on your lip ring and I have really good hygiene with piercings like I'm not one of those people that gets piercings and just says okay well it'll heal itself no I am super hygienic with them like I'll clean them with every solution I'll do what I can all the time and you know when that's on your face that's pretty nasty especially on your mouth when I talk to people I watch their mouth I watch their eyes like you watch their face, right? Especially if you're very observant. So what do I look like with a big old crust on my lip ring? What? That's gross. I thought there was only two more things, or I mean one more thing, but there's actually another thing. Every time that I was talking, all I heard was of the back of the lip ring hitting my teeth every way my mouth moved piercing would hit my teeth. When I smiled, piercing would point that way. When I looked at it this way, the piercing was straight up and down. So it must just be the anatomy of the way that my face like pulls. My piercing would always like go to the side. And I was like, wow, that's ugly as heck. So whatever. <laughs> but I could not stand the sound when I was recording ASMR. Obviously, you know, I'm like this. Okay, so I would make like, you know, whispered. And in my ears, I could just hear of my piercing hitting my lip or my teeth, I'm sorry. Every single word that I would say, I just hear it. And I got so sick of hearing that, especially recording ASMR, I'm like, I don't wanna be whispering. Like, that's my career. That's my full-time job. And this is kind of making that hard because I can't even hear myself freaking whisper because I'm hearing da 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 in my mouth all day. So that's when I started to get really irritated. Like, I mean, that was one of the main things, but now let's go on to how it really ruined my teeth. Huh, let me get a sip of this coffee. All right, first of all, these are my real teeth. They are, but my real teeth are actually behind. I have a coating like on my top teeth. It's like porcelain and my bottom teeth are regular. I don't have porcelain or anything on those. So here's the thing. Every time I would bite that lip ring and right, right here in the front, okay? right between this tooth and this tooth. It's right where this crease goes down the middle of my teeth. So one day I was looking and I noticed, oh my God, my tooth underneath is starting to, the corner is like gone on this tooth underneath. Now you're not gonna be able to see it because like 
I have to look in the mirror to see it, like tilt my head back and look. But the corner of my tooth underneath this like porcelain or whatever is rounded off. Like it's no longer square. Like it has been uh, chipped away from biting that piercing. Also, I have a little groove on my bottom tooth here. And I do want to say I already had, I have had braces for like five years and my enamel got very weak from having them on there. I mean, I already had weak enamel just because it's hereditary in my family. So having this piercing constantly hitting this tooth right here put a little chip in my tooth. You can't really see it because obviously like when my teeth are wet and they're spit, everything's like glistening, you can't see it. I can feel it with my tongue and I can do this with my nail and I can actually feel it. There's a little, on the flat part of the front of my tooth, there's a whole like nick taken out. Like it's like, it's there. So I said to myself, all right, this piercing is not worth ruining my teeth, number one, especially since I have my teeth done on top. And I told you, I was always running to see like, is my, is my tooth broken? Like, is it chipped? Because I'm biting this MF or so hard, there's no way it's not breaking my teeth. So I figured after this long and just like, what was the only, there was really no pros. Everything was cons. The only pro was like, okay, I like how it looks most of the time. Like it makes me feel good. It's cool. It's different. You know, people were always asking me, oh my gosh, that piercing's so cool. Like, did it hurt? I never seen anything, like I've never seen anyone with that piercing. And that was cool, you know, to have something different, but that only goes to a certain extent because after that, when there's so many cons, that's not worth it to me. Like to me personally, I want to keep my teeth. Like I want my teeth to stay nice. I don't want to break my teeth because I have an oral piercing. Hello. <laughs> I have enough problems with my teeth already. Like that's why I have my teeth done on top. And it's just like, what's the point of you know, ruining, ruining your mouth, <laughs> you know, for a piercing. So that's when I decided, okay, I've had enough. And I thought about it for a couple days actually, because I was like, wow, I really love this piercing. Like, do I want to take it out? I was fighting with myself, like maybe I should, oh, maybe I should give it some more time. And then finally I said, no, I woke up one morning and I looked at it and it was just like crust. And I was like, you know what? Goodbye. So I was trying to take it out, right? And it was the one that is, um, what's it called? Like, I'm trying to think of what it's called. It's like, uh, you push, like, it's like pressure, like it's held together. Like you push it in there. Like, so it just pulls apart, but you have to push the top in. So I'm trying to pull it out, trying to pull it out. It's not coming out. It's starting to hurt. It's freaking bleeding. Not to mention I had downsized the bar and there was still plenty of room. Like I'm talking about like this much extra room. And still the back part was causing like a big indent, like a purple indent in the back of my lip. It didn't hurt because like I said, it wasn't tight, but it was just like ruining my lip inside for some reason, it was like eroding my lip. <laughs> so that's when I just said, whatever. I literally took a, I held it back here, took a clamp and my hands are clean by the way, I just washed them because I knew I was gonna be doing this. Um, took a clamp, put it on the little front piece and pulled it off. And then like when I took it out, I can't even tell you how good it felt to do this. Like just to just put my lips together. Like you don't realize that you can't do that when you have the piercing because it prevents your lips from touching there. It felt so good to go put on a lip scrub and just oh, scrub my lips. It feels good to put on chapstick, lip gloss, just be able to move your lips together. Like it just feels good and to not hear any clicking noise in your head. But I mean, this is just my experience. You may not have any problems. You know what I mean? Like I know someone who has this piercing I and mean, she doesn't have any problems, but that doesn't mean that you won't or you will. You just never know unless you try it. I'm glad that I tried it. And I mean, at least now I know, but you know, I am going to have a couple issues. Like I said, this little, this nick that's taken out of my tooth, this upper tooth, the corner, psh, round literally thank god i have this stuff over top because if i didn't honestly my tooth my teeth probably would have completely broke when i bit the bar i was biting it hard you know chewing gum you bite the bar <laughs> oh my god like what the heck so that's the story of how my piercing literally ruined my mouth for a while and i'm very lucky that I took it out when I did and then I don't have worse damage to my teeth, but like I said, there is some damage, so 
that's something to think about if you're considering getting an oral piercing in general. And just hygiene wise, like I said, I don't want to be talking to someone. Like I've literally had people tell me, oh, you got like a crust on your lip. Great, <laughs> love that for me, like embarrassing. So that's that, that's, that's the story of why I took my Ashley piercing out. Again, I'm sad, I was, I'm not sad now, but I was because it was my favorite piercing in the world and it's like, now that it's gone, I feel so much better. And I look back at pictures when I had it, I'm like, yeah, it was cute, but it's not for me. It really didn't fit my face that well. Like, yeah, I loved it, it was a bomb piercing, but I feel like my face looks a little bit more aesthetic without it. So that's that. <clears throat> I hope you guys like, you know, get a little bit of information from this, maybe some pros and cons if you're considering the piercing or if you have the piercing and you're like, oh my gosh, I wonder if I should keep this. <laughs> so it's completely up to you. You know, I'm not saying take it out. I'm not saying don't get it if you want it. I'm just saying this is some things to consider if you do want to get it, but you may not have any issues at all. So that's that. Thank you guys for listening to my little story time about my sad, sad stuff. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Be safe. Keep washing your hands. Keep doing what you can do. And I'll see you in my next video. Love you all the time.